seem like a very big boat, and it is. But docking and handling, and especially with twin screws, is simply, uh, simply fabulous. You're going to watch me attempt, attempt uh, to take a 53-foot boat away from the dock by myself. I've actually done this before. Whether or not I can do this while a camera is rolling, uh, we'll see in a, in a minute or so. Uh, right now, I have the uh, starboard engine in gear. I've got one line tagged right here, the blue line. And uh, all we're going to do, all I'm going to do is throw the lines off. Right now, the whole boat's being held just by this one blue line right here, my docking line. Come up here and put the boat into neutral. I put this cleat right here so I could do this and be able to handle this boat by myself. And that's basically it. Put the boat in gear and forward we go. One line, twin screws, a wonderful thing. It's taken me 20, 25 years or more uh, to finally get to build this, a boat, a sailboat, anyway, with uh, twin screws. Designed the original Shannon 50 to accept twin screws, uh, but uh, that was way too radical for its day. But it was also the first boat at the 1981 sailboat show to have bow thrusters. We had to make them ourselves in those days, hydraulics because there was nobody selling them. So once I got through with that big heresy, I uh, finally get back to it. We have a twin screw powerboat right here. Now this is a very tight marina, uh, and uh, about as tight as it gets, actually. When we teach people, I teach people how to dock down here, and when I do that, It, uh, it's one of these things, if you can dock here, you can dock anywhere. But it is tight. Even by my standards, this is very tight.
With a little practice, you could get uh, very good at doing this. You wouldn't want to be trying to do this in this spot right here. But what I wanted to show is that turn a 53-foot boat around in, in 53 feet. That's all there is to it, folks. You don't touch the wheel. Simply wonderful. Well, now that you've seen how this uh, boat handles a uh, twin screw boat, it also uh, uh, powers uh, very well. Uh, as I mentioned, I think earlier, uh, it's twin screw or single screw. It's an owner's choice. There's also two different uh, engine options on this boat. But this boat will power uh, right up to 12 knots and uh, cruise uh, very comfortably uh, at 10 uh, with these uh, twin engines that we have on here. Uh, it, uh, it sure is uh, great uh, for uh, days when there's no wind. And uh, we don't have very much wind right now uh, to take this boat out sailing. Probably isn't any more than 10 knots. But uh, it sure gets you home uh, in a hurry. And more important, it allows you to power sail in, in light air. I know that power sailing is some kind of big taboo uh, to diehard sailors. But in light air, uh, and I've power sailed this boat probably over 200 miles on the way back from Annapolis. Uh, we were on a port tack, sails up, just had the starboard engine running at about 1,500 and we were clocking right along at nine, nine and a half knots steady for over 200 miles. So it's a, a wonderful way to get around in light air. It's also a great way to get around when you have headwinds. Uh, but uh, what we're gonna do next is uh, show this uh, sails going up and down and uh, how easy it is for some person, just, just me, uh, to be able to sail this boat along. <laughs> 